So here's a quick overview of the Shapeways shop. So the, the first thing that you're going to need to pick is the modular chassis unit. And I've got options for CFX, Profi, and Verso. Um, the next thing, and it's all organized over here on the left, the next thing that you're going to want to decide is if you need a cover or not. Right now I just have the one design for the cover, um, but I might have more in the future. The, this cover is going to take the outer diameter of the chassis unit um, up from something that's uh, compatible with, say, the ASP parts to something that's compatible with modular Hilt system version one. Um, and then I also um, have a kit for making it compatible with Replica Graflex. And the next thing that you're going to need to pick is speaker pods. Um, so I have different options for speaker pods. Uh, for the um, 22 millimeter speaker that's offered on the Custom Saber Shop or the 28 millimeter WOW speaker, um, the 28 millimeter bass speaker, and that um, 28 millimeter premium speaker that's really short. So different options based on, say, the speaker that you like or um, maybe the uh, length or size requirements that your hilt has. So if you find that the chassis is just a little bit too big, then you can use this speaker pod, um, swap it out, uh, and uh, shorten the length of the chassis a little bit. If you have another chassis that has more room, then you can swap out your speaker pod for this one and um, have a little bit more of a decorative element and maybe a, a better sound quality. And the, uh, the next thing that you'll need to pick are the uh, hilt side connectors. Um, so I've got different sizes of the hilt side connectors connectors. 25.8 um, millimeter is the uh, size that's suitable for ASP. 31.8 um, millimeter is the size that's suitable for most uh, modular hilt system version 1 body pieces. And then the 28.9 millimeters are going to be the ones that are suitable for some of the modular hilt system V1 parts that have a slightly tighter inside like the uh, ribbed sections and grenade sections. Um, within the, the hilt side connectors, there's a top piece and a bottom piece and a GX16 cap. Um, the top pieces have different flavors as well, so you can get just the standard top piece, which has this ring here that helps secure the chassis in place between the emitter and the body piece. Um, you can get it in a version, the default version is for the Custom Saber Shop 7 pin pixel PCB, and then I also have one for um, that's compatible with Dimitri's. Uh, NeoPixel PCBs. Um, for the ASP line, I have a version of the top connector that has no lip in case you would like to secure the chassis in some other way, say like a retention screw or glue or whatever um, solution is more convenient for you. For modular hilt system version one, you might have a body piece that's connected to a choke instead of an emitter. So in that case, um, you can get this version of the hilt connector top that's for the choke. And what this does is it omits the um, pixel PCB holder portion and allows you to um, just connect the chassis between the body piece and the choke section and then run the wires through the choke section to a standard uh, custom saber shop PCB holder between your choke and your blade holder. And there's some uh, other things on the list here. So if you're building a replica Graflex, then 
um, you can go to that section of the store to see each of the parts that you um, would need there. So in this case, you have the hilt connector, which is going to connect directly to the Graflex Shops blade holder. You've got some uh, optional parts that you can print to help you secure the main and auxiliary buttons to the blade holder. Um, you have a uh, core that goes in the lower half of the replica Graflex that um, has sound venting and um, holes pre-placed for the rivet, rivets in the TFA configuration. If you um, aren't going to do the TFA configuration, it's not a big deal. Um, you can always uh, make the holes in other places if you need. Um, and uh, a grip guide if, um, uh, if you need a, a grip guide. And some other parts in the uh, sort of miscellaneous section here. Um, pin cap for um, helping secure the custom Saber Shop PCB, uh, Pixel PCB. That's going to friction fit the um, PCB into the hilt connector top so that it's secured in place. If you're using the um, Dimitri's NeoPixel solution, he's got his own ring that um, will secure it in place. So you'll need to get that. You could get that off, say, the Saber Bay or from Dimitri. Um, an optional front cap piece, sort of decorative piece for the uh, chassis unit. Um, some spacers in case the um, locking ring on the hilt connector top is not thick enough. You can print these in plastic or you can print them in a TPU um, so that they're a little bit squishy and you can have a little bit of play in how thick they are. You could also find an O-ring so you don't necessarily need to buy these. Um, if you're not going to use an OLED, there's a, a decorative vent that you can put in place of the OLED so that it still looks nice. And different um, decorative switch covers in case you're not going to use, uh, especially on the ASP parts that have the 12 millimeter AV slot. Um, if you're not going to use both of them, say if you're going with a dual tactile switch solution, uh, something nice that you can put over one of them that still looks inverse. And that's a, a tour of my shop. There's a link to my YouTube channel that has build instructions and um, tutorial videos for you. And each of the items has a description that'll help you make the right decision. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks.